Rust is now at the 10th position in popularity index of how often languages are searched on Google. And the same results are there with 8th place in IEEE, Programming Language Indexing. You already know that Rust was previously growing at a good pace, but what has changed recently? Why this a sudden growth? It's because a big number of companies recently started adopting Rust for building server applications. It's not just a few small companies, but Google, Amazon, and Microsoft, like big giants, are using Rust as a server-side language. And Meta has just joined the party by rewriting its mobile messaging infrastructure in Rust, gradually replacing a legacy C code base. Engineers at Meta say C code has become increasingly difficult to maintain and frustrating to work with. Messy code encourages more mess. Also, many developers outside Meta also believe memory management mistakes occasionally slipped into production and escalated into hard to debug bugs. Rust's compile time ownership checks remove entire classes of those errors, so that's why they are switching from C to Rust. But there was a micro benchmark released by Association for Computing Machinery, which shows Rust brings a 1.7 times more performance overhead compared to C. First thing is, this benchmark is performed on a specific task, so this number could be different based on the type of task. And second, in my opinion, this difference does not matter as compared to the amount of safety provided by Rust. And I believe this performance gap is mainly caused by runtime checks done by the Rust compiler. Once we disabled the runtime checks, it came down to 1.01 or maybe even less. See, I'm not saying always choose Rust over C language. C is a great language, and if we start counting advantages of C over Rust, there will be a long list. But in terms of memory management, Rust guarantees memory safety with ownership and lifetime-like features. But if we see numbers of performance comparison between Rust, Go, Node.js, and Bun with 1,100,000 requests per second, Rust tops the list. Same goes for the latency and memory usage. Seeing these numbers, you're probably thinking why everyone goes for Node.js. Because of its ease of use and ecosystem, the Rust ecosystem is currently not that big, but is growing at high speed. But I don't understand why Rust developers are building packages for Python in Rust language. While there are many more required for Rust itself, and one more thing I don't understand is why they use the word blazingly fast 10 times in the readme file. Like, they are addicted to the word or what? Not only addicted to that word, but they are also addicted to the Rust. Yes, I know the Rust community is a small but loyal one. The Rust community is growing, so where are its new developers coming from? In 2024, developers migrating to Rust most frequently come from a C++ background. While the Go language is another significant source, with a notable one in six of its developers considering a move to Rust. Frankly speaking, when I see uh, the term Rust written in Rust, to me personally, it means two things. It's fast, it's likely well-maintained. Finally, if I have to tell you what a memory management mechanism is, the core principle is that each value in Rust has a single owner. And when the owner goes out of scope, the value is automatically dropped, freeing its resources. Rust mainly relies on three models, ownership, borrowing, lifetime. In the end, I will just say that Rust is like that one teacher who always forces us to do the right thing. In the end, it benefits us.